Hey everybody, Joe Navarro here. It is so great to be here with you all. I am at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more with my friend, David Riddell. He has two stores. He has one in Asheville, which I've had the pleasure of visiting. And then today we're at his store in Durham, North Carolina. Good to see you, Dave. Thank, Thank you. you, glad you yeah. came. Yeah, me too. So uh, what we wanted to do today is I wanted to just share with you a little bit about what Big Frog Custom T-Shirts does and, uh, and how Dave got into the business. Because uh, his career prior to working or owning the Big Frogs uh, was not being a t-shirt uh, sales right. guy. Correct. He was doing a whole lot more and, uh, and totally different. Would you agree? Yeah. And I mean, life experiences lead to different things. And, and I was a retail district manager. So, so uh, middle uh, multi-unit middle manager. And, and so when you're looking at franchises, the big five are um, restaurants, auto, gyms, right. uh, fit, uh, not fitness, that's gyms, the, the cleaning, and none of those appeal. The retail side did. So although right. I'm not a designer, I can hire amazing designers. Exactly. Hire better than yourself, and that was kind of my role. So I can hire great designers. My wife's a payroll bookkeeper, which you definitely need that. I was used to all the retail operations, and then a franchise provides us with the tools that you need. So then it becomes that relationship. Just like meeting somebody in a networking group, being in a chamber, being in a BNI, those are your support systems, right? So everything you do. So although I didn't have direct, um, di direct things that fit this, everything else outside of the design do. I mean the the processes and the people and the merchandising and and, and those kind of things. And that's how we found it. And and Big Frog, you have to have amazing customer service, which is kind of dead in today's world, right? And oh you Lord, have to is. be involved in the community. Mm -hmm. For two reasons. There's a billion screen printers and you can order off the internet. So you want to separate yourself, but also people need what you need or what you're, what you're doing, but they don't necessarily have to buy it from you. So what is your value proposition? What makes you different? And being involved in the community Absolutely. and giving back is just something cool. You don't want to die and they say, oh, the owner of died. That guy that did this, he has a vehicle and a store to be able to help the community. So tell me, what is your differentiator? What's the way, when I come to Big Frog, what is the value I'm gonna get here that I'm not gonna get from somebody so else? So from a store, we're a retail-based store, which most of your traditional ones are, are basement, garage, industrial park. Mm -hmm. So to have a retail store, and you can see it behind us where you can touch and feel, sing and dance, we're designing right there free design, which saves you some money, even if it's quick put it into a template, that's a 30 to $50 charge that we're not charging. Right. And then we can do one, which most screen printers don't. They could easily, that. but one at a time allows you that option. So those three things in-house, out of house. I just got my new mask, one mask with my logo on it, custom logo on it. Yeah, so, so inside the store, having a retail space, free design and no minimums are great. What I just said is outside of the store, it's who you are. Not everybody can give money. Not everybody can give their services, but you don't want to be the place that just writes checks. So whether it's business and you're connecting in, in chambers and meetup groups and networking things, and or you get to sponsor, and we've sponsored things like just this past year, we've gotten to sponsor your great business seminars, Several which are them. connecting business people and learnings. But then we sponsored a virtual 5K um, and, and a couple of golf tournaments where the money went to nonprofits and a toy run. All right, so I have to ask, what's a virtual 5K? Does everybody just sit there in place and run in front of the TV? And that's now become a popular thing where instead of everybody showing up, you get a week to run it. And, and in this case, they said you could canoe it, you could bike it, you could not do it. Um, you just got to show your team being together or yourself being together but it's still um, a way to, together. to bring, to, to, to come together for a cause when you can't come together. And so okay, that's so a huge let's step. talk about that, okay. causes, because I know you, you do a lot for different causes, whether it's non nonprofits or if it's specific Schools. causes that could help people uh, or communities. So let's talk about that. What is, tell us about how you, first of all, share us how that works. And what, what was your uh, driving force to start doing that? So if you just go to be seen and pass out the business cards, you're the guy who thinks the business card is an invoice and everybody I meet, I'm sure they have a sales. You're doing it 
the wrong way. Sales are going to come when you become, it's that know, like, and trust. Well, how do you give back depends on who you are at a core, mm -hmm. right? It's easy for big companies to just write checks to anybody, but what's at the core to us? Both, both my wife and I, we come from military families, mm. um, animals, kids. So when you think about those, it's like um, you're giving back to veterans, which are for the most part, I mean, becoming senior citizens. So that's two categories. And then school and kids and then pets. And those seem to be the cores. And, and when you think about it, it's like that that's the that's who got us here, are senior citizens in the military and who's supposed to lead us next, which is the kids. Right. And, most of the pet ones um, become therapeutic, oftentimes for kids and vets and seniors. So you find who you are, and that applies to business. Like I said, I didn't buy this because I'm a designer. I bought this because service and community were already who mm. I was. So it's and then, service minded. Yeah, and then and then the reason somebody joins a rotary or becomes on the board of a nonprofit you'd hope isn't just to be seen. You'd hope that they're doing it to make a difference. And by making a difference, passion stands out. So you're not just going through the motion. You're doing something you enjoy, which makes you better at it. You are imparting something. Yes, I am um, sponsoring your events because it does give me visibility. But um, you are doing a service and I am helping you do that because without sponsors, then you wouldn't have, I mean, you'd be doing it for free, which isn't a bad free thing. Free and I don't do it for um, free and for fun, yeah. <laughs> but, but we all do. You've given up your yeah. time. I well, am, that's true. I am, I am doing, I mean, I was on a podcast with, with a business coach that wanted my, my knowledge to pass along, and I'm an advisory committee for our franchise for that same reason. You are taking a piece of you and being able to share it with everybody, and then as BNI people say, givers gain, you've now given back and the no like and trust comes, you're no longer just a name on the door, which isn't what you want to do, because they can go to any name on the sure. door, including on the internet. Right. So that's that's one of your differentiators, and that's why I want to come back to that. But the, I want you to, to share with us a little bit about your um, the system you have. Let's say if a nonprofit uh, wants to, you know, sometimes you do where you sell for the nonprofit. One of the biggest things we did, and we've done it from the beginning, is give back. And, but it, when COVID started, I said, keep community moving forward, which I could have easily closed. We're event based. Nobody needs to buy shirts from us when they aren't having events, but I'm still standing here. So from last May or April, we said, how do we help the community more than we already do? Because we don't have much money. Well, what we have is a vehicle. We set up online stores for clients all the time that allows them to like attach it to their website and sell the mm -hmm. merchandise to raise money. But we did it as a love local and, it, and it's still going. We've just morphed it some, but we put any business or nonprofit. And again, if, if you have a cause, if you are an artist, if you have a reason that you have a shirt that you want to sell and you make money, this just, um, we raised 10, we wrote $10,000 in checks last year because we put their logo on shirts. They send the, they, they send the link out and everybody's sending the link and everybody's responding to the link. And so we're all getting social media visibility. Then somebody buys a shirt and now they're a walking billboard for this business and this business or nonprofit makes $10. We gave $10 to every shirt sold. So we were proud in that they got money. We kept the printers running. We all got visibility. We were keeping community moving forward. So we called it the Love Local Initiative. We've now changed it to the Love Local Initiative. That's, I mean, that's just great. Well, yeah, now it's, I mean, it's still anybody who has that idea, instead of set up a site for everybody, just give us your logo, done, send out the link, 10, I mean, and, and, and make some money. And you know, some of them, I mean, they're friends of yours that mm -hmm. we were able to do it. Mm -hmm. There were um, animal animal shelters and horse race places and restaurants because they got hurt. Like, sure. Like, the, I mean, one, one of the hardest, but that way it was keep community moving forward. We kept going and were able to help other people. And we have, I mean, those free online stores, um, free shirt programs for schools, special wow. pricing for nonprofits. So there's, there's many different ways to print and to do things. But again, it's with us, we, can, we, we value ourselves on being the experts. Everybody can print what you do and how you get there. And the philanthropic stuff in the middle is, is really the differentiating factor. Okay. 
So why don't you show us uh, some of the products that you guys okay. have here? Because uh, first of all, you just saw my mask and, uh, and you can get one mask or you can buy 10,000 masks. Okay, but then uh, what are some of the other things that you guys do here? So everybody knows the two primary printing techniques. I mean, embroidery is stitched into a hat, a jacket, an outerwear, primarily polos, professional gear, and then screen printing, which is ink on top of the shirt in bulk. The more shirts with the less colors, you go to a race or an event and they're passing them out like it's water. That's, right. that's screen printing. And everybody does those. And then there's a couple other techniques, I mean, um, some vinyl and things, but what Joe was talking about is directed garment. And directed garment, you can take a picture of your kid, your cat, the mountains, and print the full details into a shirt. So it's in there, like his mask, he can now breathe. So you have full color, full details, or something simple, something simple one color. What that allows you to do is buy the perfect gift, either business or personal, small group or club that's um, or even a business that doesn't want to buy that many. You may only be a sole entrepreneur. You may only have five people. You want to get shirts as you go. But uh, I mean, so embroidered, embroidered hats, embroidered, I mean, quarter zips, uh, jackets. So there's, there's thousands of apparel options. There's different ways to print, but having the flexibility to say, I need 3000 or 100 for an event, or I'm getting a gift, or maybe you're selling things. You have a restaurant and you're selling clothing, but you don't want to tie up all your money into an inventory that's sitting underneath the counter. Every Monday you call and say, replenish the red, replenish the blue in this color. And, and uh, just great to be able to take your full detailed logo like Joe's in a couple of different colors and have that done rather than screen print them at 15, which he doesn't need or more and right. dumb it down to one color. Which is the way it used to, to be. Setup charges. Back in the day, it used to be that I would have to get 15 or 20 of those made to make it cost effective. One and then dollar. I'd hand them out to everybody. And, you know, but at, if that's not what I need, right. if I only need one, that's great. And even, if in I your, need, even in your old world of printing, it's all changed. Technology right. changes. So this is an ink, I mean, it's an inkjet printer, just like at home. Anything you see in a computer screen prints into the garment. Now you Beautiful. don't feel it. It can be those details. It can be personalized. Not the, the walking around wear from a sports team that, that we want to get the individual names and numbers without the heavy like heat press vinylish type application. Mm -hmm. So with us, our job as the expert is to find the right solution for your style, which matters, your brand, which you don't want to dumb it down, and your budget, which kind of truly matters. And then, um, so we help you find those answers through this store and through our expert designers who have like 30 years or 30 or 40 years worth of design experience. And, uh, and then we print and then if it's directly garment, the digital printing, you can just call back and say, I need one more and just keep it going like that. And so speaking of calling, what I'm going to do, everybody, is I'm going to make sure that we have all of Dave's information for both stores, for here in Durham and his store in Asheville. Uh, and listen, even if you're in Timbuktu, <laughs> you can still uh, order from Dave. You could go to his website and we'll make sure that that's on there as well so that everybody could go ahead and order your printing needs, your, your garment printing needs uh, from Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and more. Dave, thanks so much. I really appreciate glad, you. Glad you were here. Thank today. you for coming in. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.